Today on the channel we're going to check out this fake greenie that I bought over nine months ago and see how it's held up. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take another look at this fake Gibson Les Paul Greeny that I bought on eBay about uh, nine months ago. I posted the video on YouTube and it's had about 217,000 views. It's garnered a lot of attention and this thing has been at my son's college for the year and he just got out of his junior year. He's played the crap out of this thing for uh, two semesters straight. He loves it, but now it's back into my possession, probably for the summer now that he's got my Strat. He's got my American Professional too, that he's fallen in love with. So um, I've got this greeny back, but I thought I'd put some strings on it and do a uh, kind of a follow-up video and let you know how this thing has held up for the last um, nine months. I just got done playing this thing for about um, 45 minutes maybe and it plays great there are no issues with this guitar I've um, I will give you full disclosure there's two videos on you YouTube of this guitar there's the unboxing when I got it from China and then there's an upgrade video that I did the upgrade video shows uh, me putting two different sets of, or a set of pickups in it TN tones my buddies over there at TN tones made me some greeny style pickups before you could buy the greeny pickups, I had TN Tones make me some greeny style pickups after the specs of the actual greeny uh, guitar, and it goes out of phase in the middle position, which sounds great. So, uh, you know, everything uh, checked out great when I was playing this thing a, a little while ago. There's no fret sprout, there's no dead frets. The electronics still sound uh, really nice. No issues with the tone, the volume, the tuners still work good. It's intonated fine, the action hasn't raised. This guitar has been, uh, I mean, it's solid. It was 235 bucks, I think. I'll look for uh, the seller on uh, eBay and put it in the link. I'll put a similar link in the description. A lot of people ask me for the original link for this, and after about a week and a half, the seller took it down. I think they were just getting blasted with with people. You know, my video got so many views. I think so many people were trying to buy it. I think they just killed the link. Uh, but I've seen a few of them up there that are very similar. Uh, but this this guitar, um, the, you know, the Relic job isn't the, the best. I mean, this, this looks a little bit kind of lame, but from a distance it's okay. And as you can see, it's got it's got some wear and tear around the edges and it's got the markings on it. They obviously razor bladed this thing in the factory. This is just a laminate top. I'm going to take the pickups out of this and show you what the inside of the cavity looks like. I'm going to pull the strings off of this and restring it and clean up the fretboard and uh, get it get it really cleaned up and nice. But I'll show the inside of the guitar here in just a moment and then we'll do a, a sound chest, a sound test, a demo of it, okay? Let me flip this over and we'll take a look at the back side. All right, I did this relicking myself on the back of the neck. I just did kind of a quick job. It was not relicked at all when I got it, so I wanted it to look kind of beat up. I made that fake looking break in the headstock like greeny. <laughs> and the body came like this. I mean, the body was, was already relicked. I added some additional uh, relicking to it because it wasn't wasn't beat up enough for me to look like the original greeny. I took some photos of the original greeny and used that for inspiration. Just trying to give you a few different angles of this thing. I'm not an advocate for buying Chibsons. I mean, I think that originally when they came out, people were trying to sell them as real Gibsons and rip people off and 
do wrong things with them. Nowadays, I think it's pretty pretty obvious if it's a chips and when, I mean they're they're really a lot better than they were when they first came out but I I don't think a lot of people are getting ripped off with chips and but the a lot of people hate the fact that in China there's no copyright laws and they can steal trademarks and things without getting any repercussions and uh, morally I suppose you know that's not a great thing some people perceive it as supporting piracy I guess in some way or shape or form it is but I don't think these chipsons really pose a threat to Gibson or any of the US manufacturers as long as people aren't getting ripped off thinking they're buying a Gibson from somebody who buys one of these and resells it um, that's that would be terrible um, I really have a problem with it I think it's just fun to see what they make and what they come up with and you know, have fun with it I own a lot of Gibsons, so I'm a Gibson supporter. They've had plenty of uh, purchases from me, gotten lots of my money over, over the years. All right, I'm going to take the strings off of this and take the pickups out, and we'll take a gander on the inside of the cavity of this guitar and check it out. All right, I've got the screws taken out of the pickup rings, and here's what it looks like on the inside. So, you know, obviously not not real. You could tell this is a fake by looking in here. No long neck tenon, um, which is expected. But, you know, look at this routing. The routing on these on this particular model was was really nice. You can see the you know, just the wood and and uh laminate here. How it's not like a quarter inch flame top, but I mean, that's they did a good job routing that out. It's nice and clean. Nice looking piece of wood on the inside. And here's the here's the inside of the bridge pickup uh, cavity. And we'll take off this tunematic style bridge and see what that looks like. So here's here's what these look like here. So not exactly where they should but they're kind of chintzy they don't work spectacularly but they work good enough and then this bridge looks like this on the bottom of it okay and then the tailpiece On the inside, it's just uh, your typical small Chinese pots uh, and a Chinese toggle switch, so nothing really to write home about on the switches and the pots on the inside. Just your standard small pots. I never upgraded this thing. They work fine, so not really too concerned about it. All right, so I'm going to put some Diodarios on here, and... Uh, We'll plug this thing into the Fractal Axe 8 and run through a variety of tones and we'll check it out. Cool.